Well, today is a weather impact alert day, and so is tomorrow because we have wet and soggy weather the next couple of days. We could see some street flooding today like we have seen for parts of Slidell. A lot of street flood advisories in effect for both the north and south shore at this point. We've had some drenching rain so far this morning. Heavy showers happening now over Lake Pontchartrain and Lake Moripa along I-55 in southern Tangipahoa Parish. Some heavier showers from Covington to Mandeville along the causeway for parts of our river parishes. So just make sure you take it easy on the roads today. We'll see more scattered showers and storms over the next couple of hours. So far, it looks like where we have seen some heavy rain in Slidell. The showers are starting to weaken a little bit, but there's still a flash flood warning in effect for Slidell. So make sure you take it easy on the roads, particularly Gauze Boulevard has seen a lot of rain over the last couple of hours. So some street flooding possible across the Slidell area. Heavy showers for I-10 and the twin span as that band continues to move from southeast to northwest. So these are drifting off to the northwest at this point. Again, watching those heavy showers across the lake right now. Some steady showers up to Folsom, two parts of the North Shore dealing with that drenching rain. For the New Orleans Metro, it has calmed down. The rain has really weakened quite a bit, but there's still a street flood advisory for the New Orleans Metro for both the North and South Shore. One little passing downpour heading across towards the East Bank towards North New Orleans East right now. Some heavy showers right along the lakefront towards City Park now. South Shore, lighter showers actually for our Bayou parishes, but that will change because look to the south, Grand Isle, seeing some heavy rain come in from the Gulf of Mexico, Southern Terrebonne Parish seeing some heavier showers, so Homa about to see some heavy showers. Same goes for Thibodeau as this drifts up to the north, but so far it looks like we've been talking about this. It's going to be wet and soggy, and it, it is here. We've got the rainy weather today and tomorrow all connected to this Gulf disturbance that has a low chance for tropical development off to our southwest. It's just going to bring us continuous rain through today, tomorrow into early Saturday. There will be dry breaks in between, but we have to watch for street flooding today and tomorrow. That's why today and tomorrow both weather impact alert days because we can see those intense and heavy downpours. And if multiple storms go over the same area, you know you're going to get several inches of rain in roughly an hour, and that could easily lead to some localized street flooding. So Take it easy out on the roads. Always avoid those flooded roadways. We've got more rain to come going into the afternoon and even into tonight. There could be periodic showers this evening and of course some heavy downpours possible again tomorrow. So tomorrow we will pick up again with scattered heavy rain across the area Friday. Some dry breaks in between, but locally higher amounts of rain tomorrow can certainly lead to some localized street flooding on Friday throughout much of the day. Tomorrow we'll see ongoing showers taking a few breaks in between the showers, but it looks like just a complete wet and soggy today and tomorrow. So we'll finish off the work week wet and soggy and then getting into early Saturday. That's when our changes start to come. Our first cold front of the season. It's not going to make it feel much cooler outside slightly though and much less humid. Certainly in the mornings and evenings, you'll notice the big difference with the cold front, but the cold front will help push the moisture to the south. So we'll see some showers and storms probably early Saturday, but by Saturday afternoon, I think we'll start to see that drying trend. Currently looking at temperatures at 78 degrees, so the showers in the clouds today and tomorrow will keep temperatures down. It's only 78, but it is muggy and sticky. It is breezy. This disturbance off to our southwest, making it a little bit breezy for our coastal spots, but not bad. Bad 5 to 10 mile per hour wind speeds, but wind speeds at 16 miles per hour at the lakefront. The winds are coming in from the east, and that will be sustained east wind today and tomorrow. So we do have a coastal flood advisory for our eastward facing shorelines. We could see some minor coastal flooding through Friday morning during the high tide cycles. Today and tomorrow, 100% chance of rain. Don't forget the rain gear today and tomorrow. We'll keep rain chances at 30, 40% early Saturday, but by Saturday afternoon, drying up. We'll trend dry for Sunday for the game. Sunday and Monday, both dry days, and then Tuesday and Wednesday of next week, seeing our rain chances return. Rainfall totals widespread anywhere from 3 to 6 inches from now through Saturday morning, but coastal spots could get close to maybe 10 inches in a few areas. So we do have that flood watch in effect until Saturday morning because of the intense rainfall rates and the widespread spread accumulation. So the cold front coming in this weekend, bringing us that lower humidity and beautiful weather for Saturday, late Saturday, and that will last through Monday. So out in the tropics, we're watching this Gulf disturbance, bringing us the rain over the next couple days. And there's several other areas out in the tropics, but we don't have to worry about those. Quickly, here's our seven day forecast. Get ready for a rainy today and tomorrow, but a nicer weekend ahead. All right, Alexa.